Aujourd'hui, nous sommes bénis de vous présenter une de ses conférences instructives intitulée « Histoire bouddhique, le disciple laïque Atula, quatrième et dernière partie d'Entre maîtres et disciples » donné en anglais le 21 septembre 2015 en France. What happened? What is it? I don't know why. Mm. Where do you sit? Um, by the tree. Is the tree there? <laughs> Under the Bodhi tree? <laughs> Here we have only olive trees. So that's why. <laughs> the Buddha sat under the Bodhi tree 49 days. That's why I got enlightenment. That's it. That's the secret. The Bodhi tree. We have to go and buy some Bodhi tree for him. <laughs> and then you sit 49 days non-stop. <laughs> Then, then we will see. What is it? Your mind wandering around? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's typical, huh? Because of work, you know, because of so used to thinking what to do at home. Huh? Not too much to think about, though. So I just I think about little things, you know? In here? Yeah, not so important, you know? Just like? What, what clothing, what, brush my teeth, go uh. for a walk. My legs hurt. Hurt? Oh. <laughs> Then don't, 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 just, just stretch it out. <laughs> just stretch it out, please. Come on, stretch your legs. Oh, you can't now. <laughs> <laughs> you can turn around and stretch on the other side, or one leg here, one leg there. I don't care. Just be comfy, okay? I told everybody. I can't keep telling all the time. We have to make a list, you know? Like, you can stretch your leg anytime. <laughs> yeah. Okay? And if it's cold, please go inside. Yeah? And if you need to brush your teeth, just go brush, don't think. <laughs> Understand? Yeah? And we all also have a like direction. Uh, direction, the arrow that points you different direction. Main toilet, south, <laughs> kitchen, east, yeah? Master, west. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I say, Master X, sleeping room. <laughs> I mean, upstairs, not up in heaven. Huh? Also, yes, but okay. And we can have a, a direct direction like that, no? In outside, and also, if you want to see the dog this way, but <laughs> but better don't see, <laughs> better not. <laughs> He will come see you. What else we say? What else we have to tell everybody? I'm just sitting here talking nonsense, so you can see me. You never know if you see me again tomorrow, right? Yeah. Life is uncertain. No. Do you need something to rub your legs? We have some ointment. I have some. Okay. It pains you? Is that rheumatism? No, I, I, don't, I don't know why. It's like, oh, maybe it's just... All the time or just here? Just here. Oh, maybe the dampness. Uh, we live in a good place, but it still is not very dry like Arizona, okay? So you're not used to it. Arizona is very dry, it's desert-like. It's hard, but it has goodness in it, because it's dry, it don't cause pain. Here it's cool, you know, but it's damp, yeah. All the trees also, you know, produce some something. I'll give you some medicine, I have some in my bathroom. In my shower room, I go and get it to you. I just saw it. I just saw it. I will get it for you. Uh, so what else do we want? What else I, I should write about? Oh, okay. If you want to go to Australia, the fire down. Down under. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> and if you want to go to Border Tree, point to India direction. <laughs> okay? Hmm. Different olive trees, yeah, all direction, yeah. <laughs> Body tree, olive, 
Uh, is that the west or east? East, huh? India, huh? Oh. That's it, okay? Mm. If you want to go Arizona, that way, no? <laughs> Wherever. <laughs> to go to the underworld, also down, no? Huh? Under the world. What? To heaven, up. Yeah. <laughs> All right then. Any other question? Any problem? Master, in the prophecy that you read of Peter and Judas. Oh, you heard that? Yeah, even yes, already? Yes, yes. Okay. They've, yes, they're broadcasting it now. It was fabulous. Just now? Um, in the last week. Okay. In the last week. And uh, uh, in that prophecy, um, to do with it's like heaven coming to earth, yeah. is it a complete heaven or is there still going to be suffering and pain here as well? Or is it will be a complete heaven where there's no suffering and pain? Phew, I, uh, I wish. <laughs> I wish you say the first one, yeah. But the human has free will, you know. They have to decide their faith. But heaven come down to earth in some way, okay? Yeah, it will bless the people who have a good reception, eh? who has good merit in some other life or this life. And that blessing will be there, double, triple, you know, more. Strengthen their faith in heaven, in God, you know, in the Buddha teaching, and also help them uh, overcome many difficulties in their life, yeah? And uh, their spiritual elevation will be faster and more obvious. But that heaven will not be visible to many humans. Yeah, we we can see it if we have this uh, blessed eyes, eye, yeah. Because imagine if there is truly a continent physically appear in the Pacific, and God really sat there with all the retinue of the sixth race. Imagine the world will let them in peace. We let God sit there. No. Huh? They will come and sell hot properties <laughs> and mark their territory and make line and make frontier again, and then the continent will be divided into many countries, yeah? And then uh, each, uh, you know, muscle guy will take one part of the continent, and then may, maybe in no time God and the six rays will be kicked out. Yeah. You know, here muscle wins, yeah? So even if God established a sit there, it's, it's like connection to higher heaven, and God will be present on earth, but invisibly, maybe visible to some few, okay? And that race is also will be invisible, yeah? They don't need physical body. Maybe sometime they take on physical body to go around the world for some purpose, yeah? Blessing or something, but uh, we will not be able to see that. Yeah. Imagine if it's true. Imagine if it's physical. Do you think God will be able to sit there? They will come and ask for His ID, passport. Huh? Where are you from? <laughs> what language do <laughs> you speak? You know, He has to prove His identity. And all the people from the sixth race have to prove all of their identity and their right of of ownership <laughs> of that continent, yeah? Hmm. For example, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's, it's not that easy. They already threatened to go to Mars and to, <laughs> to, 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 you know, do something there already, or any other places, moon already, already sold. Yeah, you don't know that? It's true, there was a guy who even claimed his ownership of the moon already, and he saw hard of it already, and some people bought them. <laughs> he earned millions of dollars. Just uh, issue a certificate, you know? Make a map of the moon, and which side, that side, and then how much did you pay for, for how, how big the land? You don't know that? It's in America. Everything happened in America. <laughs> it's a land of possibility. <laughs> no, I was also surprised. He even owned other, like you know, Neptune and whatever surrounding here, except the sun and the earth. He owns everything else. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yeah, he just had an idea and now he's a millionaire, multi millionaire. And many movie stars even buy a piece of land in the moon already. So imagine, huh? So difficult to go up there 
and he has never seen the moon personally. <laughs> I mean, never set foot on it. He's selling it like hotcakes. A lot of people buying them, big names. Even movie star big names also. Everybody buy a piece of land in, on the moon already. So imagine if God has a new continent and establish himself there. Do you think they will leave him alone? Huh? Yeah, look what happened to Jesus when he said he's the son of God. Only son of God even, not even God yet. Understand? And now if the poor God came there and let himself be known, sure. I don't know how we can protect him. <laughs> so it's just like a spiritual, okay? Spiritual present. Because God can be connected from here all the way now. Understand that? Mm. And so this continent, whatever that may be, must be kept pure, pure and spiritual, so that the sixth being could even bear it to be here. Uh, so God can even bear it. Understand? Mm. Okay? So everybody keep waiting for the continent, huh? New continent, huh? Hmm? Really? Well, well, you, you sort of indicated that maybe it was spiritual or maybe it was physical. And when when you spoke, and it was like, wow, physical. Yeah, physical would be nice. It's there already. Just we don't see. Hmm? Okay. But don't tell anybody else, <laughs> because they will find a way. You know, computer or robot or whatever. They're scanning the whole Pacific. Who knows? <laughs> they, they have been able to scan the light from all the beings already, from plants, from leaves, from bushes, you know, from fruit, from meat, raw meat. So what next they cannot do? It's just that they will not be able to destroy or kill or do anything to that continent and those beings, even if they can scan and know that something existed there. Understand me? They could not. That, that is the beauty of it. Because if it's physical, it's more risky. Yeah, no need, no need physical. <laughs> yeah. We all dream of that, so we cannot go there and say, then it won't be heaven anymore. <laughs> if all of us come, some may be okay, some are not. Uh, any more questions? What was also very nice is that in the prophecy and how you read it and everything was the fact that finally God would have a place to lay his head on this earth. You know, all the masters like yourself and, and you know where to actually lay your head that's truly your home. Oh, I don't have a home here. <laughs> yeah, I can stay here also, but it's not necessary. Yeah. yeah. I understood what you say. Yeah, it doesn't need to just that. If he's here, then it's a blessing for the planet, yeah. It's good. Mm, very good. Thank you, Master. You're welcome. How come you're here so short now? What happened? Uh, you like it? Like No, no. Chemotherapy, Master. Oh, God, you had it? Yes, I had chemotherapy. How can that be? I was thinking like that. I was I was thinking, but I didn't dare to just say. Yes, yes. Uh, is you okay now? Uh, I'm supposedly yes. I'm not quite finished treatment, but uh, uh, but okay. But you I look can... healthy. Yes, thank mm. you. You look okay. Can you tell me? I have some more questions. What is the reason behind cancer, apart from uh... maybe some uh, loophole in your system? Loophole, loopholes. Yeah, that it can sneak in. You know. But uh, mostly it's from DNA, you know. Some, some group of people are more prone to cancers than other group. But it could be even be contaminated by others, you know, uh, too much nearness to some patient, uh, your patient, to somebody you took too much at heart. And that triggers a kind of so-called sympathetic response, so you share. It's interesting you said that, Master, because I started work at a new clinic and I was there 15 months and it was cancer after cancer after cancer after cancer. It was just incredible. And so many young people. And then the irony of it all was after 15 months, the doctor also got cancer, which was me. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Okay. Are you too sympathetic, that's why. You put your all into it, that's why. You should put a little bit distance between the patient and yourself. Yeah, but you didn't. 
You try too hard. It's okay then. We always have to pay the price for love, even though everybody tells you love is free. Love has no co- costs nothing. It costs a lot. <laughs> if it's a real love, it's unconditional love, you know, true sympathetic love, it costs a lot. It always costs something. But we like to do that. So that's, it's okay now. At least you're okay. You look good. Why did you go to the new clinic? Um, well, um, it's still within the same uh, organization, ah, and ah. they opened a new clinic, and basically it was a much closer to home. Oh, I see. And so, you know, it was only 20 minutes from home. Yeah. And But I was just astounded because the the amount of cancer was just incredible. Yeah, incredible. Yeah. And America. Mas- Ameri- yes, and they're saying, Master, that uh, one in every three women and one in every two men will get cancer. Yeah, 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 I know and that. It's, and, it's, and I know in South Africa you said that there is a cure for every disease on this planet. It's just that a lot of it is blocked, this information. Mm. Yeah, well, you know, business, yeah. Many things are blocked, for example, the good of humanity, many are blocked. Otherwise, we would have been more developed, you know, more prosperous, more happy, yeah, happier than what we are right now. It's a sad, but it's c'est la vie, okay? Mm. Until all the consciousness of people in this planet more elevated, we still have to undergo all this. Yeah, but thank God that you have treatment. Okay, some people can't afford that even, or don't have the opportunity to find out. It's good. It's good. I'm sorry. Tell you, sometimes convenience is not always convenient, but we cannot. We cannot always decide, right? There's always a choice. And sometimes we took the wrong choice because it looked better. It's not always. Yes, it's not always. That's why That's why sometimes I even clean my own house, and cook for myself, uh, because it's better somebody else cook for me or wash my clothes or clean my house, but they bring a lot of things as well. But they even feel like I I owe them something, even that. Yeah. A lot of people who are rich and they have a lot of servants and all that, but they cost a lot. They cost not not money, not just money, they can afford it. It costs a lot in terms of exchange energy, in terms of uh, exchange karma. Yeah. And life after life. Uh, even if you pay people, sometimes you have to pay them extra than just money. Extra, you know, your merit, your wellness, your happiness. Yeah, I heard that. Uh, I saw or somehow it's leaking somehow somewhere that rich people they have a lot of servants, but they don't always feel that happy. It's just more like a opulent and a sterile kind of life, you know. Always wake up at that time, food on the table, <laughs> servant with the necktie, yeah, and the butler or whatever, you know, and scooping thing for you here and there. Yeah. I don't know if I could live that kind of life, though. I probably could. <laughs> but knowing too much is also not good for you. <laughs> Some people feel sorry that I live in a cave or a hut. Don't be. I'm happier than living in the house. I feel less heavy somehow, you know. Yeah, sometimes convenient and comfort are not always convenient and comfort. If you hadn't taken that shorter road home, you probably have been better off. But it's too late now to say. <laughs> and I'm going to go back to that clinic as well, Master. Should All I right not? then. <laughs> okay then. Okay. Yeah. So you know, you know, you didn't have to ask me. You know why? Hmm. <laughs> you know why, right? <laughs> Oh, oh! You didn't know. I did. I didn't. In actual fact, my husband suggested what you said. He said that you, you, it's a transference from all the patients yes. you've seen, and it's, that and you didn't block it. It is well known. Yeah, it is well known that like a psychological uh, doctor, sometimes they get us a cuckoo. <laughs> in 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 the end, 
cuckoo, <laughs> because he took care of so many. He exchanged with them. Hmm? They do say that physicians get a lot of the very weird diseases, the very unusual ones. And this particular, it was a breast cancer. It was an extremely rare one, Master, only 1% of all breast cancers. So it's extremely rare cancer. It's not a, not, not a usual run-of-the-mill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess it's, it's the same thing that you... So amongst physicians, this seems to happen, that they get all the very weird, very rare type yeah. of phenomena. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that would be explained by this transference principle you were just yeah. saying. Not just uh, doctors, but you know, gurus, you know, yeah, of any kind. They do get some weird thing and rare thing, even though they physically should not have that. Yeah. Well, the price we pay... Okay. Thank you, Master. Same. Yeah, very obvious. Even you love your children and all that, but they did give you a lot of headache too, no? Definitely. And trouble. <laughs> yeah? Definitely. Yeah, yeah. You, you get older quicker. Yes. Yeah, you get old quicker and you're exhausted more than usual. Yeah. Everything costs something in this life. So if you don't want it, mm, quickly and... Take your button up there, <laughs> go to heaven, and don't come back. This world is like that, it's a give and take. In Vietnam we say, uh, yeah. meaning, uh, if you live by your profession, you will die by that. Yeah, yeah. Do they say that in England? Yes, in they English? do. If you what live did they by say? The same thing. If you live by your profession, you can die by your profession. Yeah. Yes. I mean, it, it's not always obvious, but uh, it's related to, to your work. Yeah, it's related it's, to It's your... obvious in infectious disease, Master. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, you know, the, the doctor gets malaria or, oh, or yeah. whatever, oh. but it's not so obvious in, the, in like, cancer, for yeah, example. Yeah. I you understand. Know? You yeah. would think it's just normal, a yes. woman have that, it's not like that. Yes. You're not supposed to have that, but it's okay now, it's yeah. fine, it's good. Yeah. Okay. okay, thank you, Master. It's also cleansing off. <laughs> yes, paying back karma. Is it, is it karma from the past as well, Master, that people get cancer? Karma from the past, like... Definitely, yes, yes, yeah. yeah. Um... But also lifestyle, you know, mm. lifestyle. You can avoid it. Can avoid it. Yeah. Like if, like even the physicians say, if you became vegan, then you you can avoid many heart disease or you can reverse it even. You see, so that's good. Uh, don't don't create more karma. Yeah, then it's better. It's better. But in your case, you didn't run away, so you plunged into it. <laughs> but it's okay. These patients has been related to you in some former lives. Yeah. They have helped you. Mm. So therefore you feel very sympathetically responsive to them. And so there is a connection there. So it creates the kind of loopholes. <laughs> and so it just seep into your system quietly until you know it. Okay? So okay, everything happened is there's some reason. Hmm? All right. And the question? Thank you. Yeah, they're from here. Yeah. Hello, Master. It's such an incredible moment that I can see you here, Master. What do you mean? Yeah, I'm very happy, Master. Why? You didn't see me before? <laughs> yes, once in Thailand, Master. Uh-huh. It was, was from... Uh, you have to use the, <laughs> it was nine years ago, Master. Far away, and you have to use the... the how you say this? Uh, huh? Binocular to see me, right? <laughs> it's too far, too many people. I don't have any question to ask, Master. I just want to share my happiness. Um, two months. Everybody catch it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> two months ago. Yeah, two months and two months ago, I I got the dream. I dream about you, Master. You came into my dream. You give me a hug. And then I was very happy. And you also whisper something into my right ear. But I could never remember what you were saying at that time. <laughs> I also don't remember. <laughs> if you hear it, you don't remember how I remember. <laughs> I try really, really hard to remember what you were saying, Master, but it was just in vain. 
But now I understand. I understand already. You did? Yeah. Tell me. <laughs> you asked me to come here, Master. Oh. I think so. Oh, yeah. yeah. Come here to see you, Master. Okay, then it's good. <laughs> Thank you for giving me a, such a good dream, Master. I love you. <laughs> it seems so real that you appear in my dream. It seems really real. I never would like to have such a dream. No? Yeah. <laughs> It's good, it's good. You're blessed. Thank you, Master. She told you to meditate more deeply. Mm, that's all. Okay? More deeply. Yeah. And that helps you, help you to go deeper than before. Any other question? Before I eat another candy? <laughs> supposed to eat. What is it? Just right in front of me. Don't put anything in front of me. I just eat. It's not even taste or need. Today I had sore throat though, from last night. Sometimes it just come like that. Yeah. If I lay down, I lay this side, no problem. If I lay in this side, immediately running nose or sore throat also. This is from nowhere. And now no more uh, running nose. It run before, you see? What? Yeah, I have a little sore throat still. What? You have some? Something? For me? Oh, maybe I don't need. Okay, it's good. It's good. Anything else? No? Okay, good. Turn off the light.